Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Gurgenidze and Simchak. This game was played in Varna in 1975. And where is Varna? Varna is the largest city and seaside resort on the Bulgarian Black Sea coast. Let's have a look at the game. Gurgenidze had white pieces and the game started with e4. Simchak played e6. Looks like we'll have a French defense. Knight to f3. Well, d4 is the most popular move, but the game will transpose. We have a knight to f3. d5. Knight to c3. Knight to f6. e5, attacking the knight and gaining space on the board. Knight from f to d7 d4, c5, attacking white center, bishop to b5, pinning the knight, knight to c6, Gurgenidze castle, kingside, bishop to e7, knight to e2. Given time, white would play c3. For example, if black plays a6, then bishop takes on c6, and after pawn takes bishop, c3. So black captured on d4 before c3 was played. Knight from e takes on d4. Knight takes knight. Knight takes knight. Black castle kingside, unpinning and threatening knight takes pawn on e5. Rook to e1 defending. Queen to c7 developing the queen and attacking the pawn on a5 second time. Bishop to f4, defending the pawn. Black to move. Black played knight to b8. Perhaps a6 was better, but probably white would play bishop to d3. In the game we have a knight to b8. Black wants to reposition the knight to c6. But it all costs valuable time. It is white to move. What would you do? What is the strongest move on the board? Gurgenidze played queen to g4. Pretty good move. And the black played rook to d8. Well, let's play a random move so you can see what is the threat. For example, if knight to c6 is played, then Bishop to h6, threatening checkmate, queen takes on g7 checkmate. After g6, bishop takes rook and white should be winning. So we have rook to d8, rook to e3, rook lift, knight to c6, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, bishop to d3. Four of white pieces are staring at black king. Black king is not feeling comfortable at all, and black played g6. If, for example, queen to b8, then we would have bishop sacrifice on h7. Then king takes bishop, check, king to g8. This is just one possible continuation. Then check, king to f7, rook to g3, threatening queen takes on g7. Defending, pawn takes pawn, attacking the queen, queen takes bishop, check, king takes pawn on f6, rook takes rook, and white is winning. Okay, so let's go back to the game, after bishop to d3, to avoid bishop takes on h7, bishop sacrifice, black played g6. h4. King to h8, bishop to g5, rook to e8, rook to f3, attacking the pawn on f7, rook to f8, h5, developing the bishop and connecting the rooks. But is bishop really useful on b7? It is white to move. How should white continue to attack on the black king?
What would you do? Gurgin needs the play, the strongest move. Rook to h3, lining the rook with the black king. Rook to g8. H takes on g6. Can take with h pawn, so black captured with f pawn. And we have reached the most critical position of the game, it is a white move. Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Ready? What did you find? Let's see. Check. Well, black captured rook. This is the only move. It is white move. White played a move and black resigned. What is the move? Queen to h5. Black resigned. Possible continuation is King to g7, Queen takes pawn on g6 check, King to f8, of course if King to h8 then Queen to h7 checkmate. So King to f8, then Bishop to h6 check, Rook to g7, Bishop takes Rook check, King to g8, Queen to h7 check. King to f7, it is white to move and to checkmate in one. Bishop to g6, checkmate. Nice attack, isn't it? Did you find the killer move at move 23? Let's go to move 23. This is the position, white to move. Did you find the killer move? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.